Right then, last of our basic techniques is to change the opacity so things fade out. So I'm on the last frame here. If I want to fade out both of these, so after they've either bounced or slid across the screen, I want to them to just fade out uh, in the position they're at. So I'm going to insert another keyframe. Uh, I'm just going to do one keyframe over a second. They're not going to move, they're just going to fade out in their current position over this next second. So I now have two frames that they're here, which are identical. And on our last frame, I'm going to select the object and change its opacity all the way down to zero. And again on this one, select the object and change its opacity all the way down to zero. So now when I preview it, the first two seconds are as before, and then they fade out. So using keyframe animation, uh, you can get some results really quite quickly uh, with a few basic techniques.